Well, here we are, first campsite of 2023, and it's a beautiful one. We're at Jinjelik, which is in the Snowy Mountains, and we picked this because we didn't want to go to the coast. It's still school holidays, and it's close to the next public holiday, so we knew it would be busy. So we thought we'd come inland and try and find somewhere that wasn't as busy. And while this little free camp has more people than normal in it, it's definitely not busy, and it's just beautiful. Have a look at this. So there's plenty of bird life around and they've got a boat ramp and then they've got some steps that go down into the water. It's also next to the big pub, which we had a meal last night and oh my gosh, it was so nice and good. Um, we were supposed to be cooking steak and we couldn't ignore the menu, it was so nice. So we've had um, dinner in the pub, but this is it. And we're happy that we're all the way over there, tucked away. And this morning I'm gonna go for a walk because I can hear so many birds. It'll be interesting to see them. somebody has really spoilt me over Christmas and we got a new thing to make our lives easier and John bought it and he organized it and you're gonna show it off off you go if you guys got your, your stove like this cooktop you got your little bit of foam there to protect it I found a company you guys might have found it already but I found a company called YTD Industries and they make these things I just come across it a few months ago and I um, ordered them. They're so popular you got to pre order and it takes a couple of weeks to get them anyway. They're those things. And what you do is, it comes with four of them, they're designed for, for hybrids, these ones. You take these bits of foam out, you throw them away. Now, just for anybody that's wondering, when you get your hybrid, they recommend that you keep the foam bits so that when you're traveling over corrugated roads, it protects the cooktop. But we've really used our hybrid a lot over the last year and a half. And we've been over some rough roads and our foam things that were starting to deteriorate. So this is what we've got. Yeah. But these things, so that's what it is. Just sits over your over your burners and they fit, they fit each one exactly like that there and there like that there you go so well done mr how so these can go in the bin i just found i just come i don't know how i found them some place that builds all sorts of things mainly for these chinese built hybrids you get they build things for um to cover your switch inside, I think, and your gas things and USB ports so they don't light up at night time. And I think things you can hang down from this and all sorts of things. But ytdindustries.com.au. I, I think they're based in Queensland somewhere, I think. I just have to say it's not sponsored. We don't have special codes or anything. We're not really big enough for that. But we just wanted to share what we'd found. And he's a good man because we were wondering what we were going to do because our... Um, the insides of these were starting to fall out and we were wondering how we were going to go when oh, they deteriorated. And they come in two colours too. Aqua blue or orange orange. Oh, orange might have matched. No, no, I wanted blue. 
Oh, you know why? For anybody that doesn't, Johnny's a huge Cronulla Sharks fan. Blue, black and white, every time that you black, get to choose. Black, white and blue, not blue, black and white. Oh, sorry. Every time you get to choose colours, that's what John will choose. So here we are at near the entrance to turn into the campground that we are. So you come off this road and you go down River Road. Now the free camp is quite small and busy at the pub. And we've been told on Friday and Saturdays it can get quite noisy, so we'll see. But if you needed to move locations, this is a showground and they charge a small fee to park there. And I believe there's also a golf course and you can park up at the golf course. I haven't been there and I think it's no facilities as well. But just here in the fork of the road, they have the green grocer and then a little park. And it's all quite pretty. Well, short and sweet, one night here, and it's been lovely. The pub really was nice, but it's such a nice pub. And tonight's Friday, and it's part of the long weekend week. So they've told us that this place is gonna be packed and really busy over the next coming few days. So we thought we don't need to do a pub two nights in a row, but we'll move on. But we'd happily come back here another time. You quite loved your meal last night, didn't you, Mr. Howe? really really good for a pub food really good yeah. yeah and the sites have been nice and flat and everything just a few party goers last night went till three o'clock in the morning lucky for us we were at the opposite end of the campsite but a few people are not that impressed are they how's your new mirrors going mr howell well, I've been reflecting on it, and um, they work well, yeah. Much better than the other ones. <laughs> reflecting. Anyway, we're hoping to head towards Blowering Dam, somewhere where we can maybe swim because it's getting a little warmer, which will be nice. See you on the other side.